answer a lot of questions on Instagram Q&A days, and sometimes I get kind of fired up. Hello, if you are new to Little Z's, I'm Becca, and I do not like the Dakotot. It's been banned in Canada. It's got way too many issues, problems. It's a prop. Get rid of it right away. Not a good thing. So I know that probably is anti everything you've heard about the precious Dakotot, but in this video, I'm going to explain why I loathe this product. Hey, I'm Becca of Little Z Sleep, your pediatric sleep consultant. My mission is to solve your child's exhausting sleep habits. And you might be using the Dakotot as a band-aid to help your child sleep better. The other day, I went to Target to go find a gift for a baby shower. And there, on the shelf, was a $175 pillow, otherwise known as the Dakotot. You guys, I have super strong feelings about the Dakotot. I don't think anyone needs this. In fact, if you didn't know, it's already been banned in certain countries. So my hypothesis is that that's gonna come to America really, really soon. And to be perfectly honest, I hope so. Now, if you are using the Dakotot currently, you guys, I'm not here to scare you like, go out, burn it right away. Yes, you need to get rid of it. Yes, you need to have a game plan, but there are reasons why we simply don't need this. And I actually covered this in episode 40 of my podcast, so let's go take a listen. The most powerful way to open up talking about the biggest problem with the Dakotot by simply reading, in case you didn't know, reading how Dakotot wants you to use their product. So I'm reading this straight off of the Dakotot website, all right? So think about how you've seen the Dakotot being used on Instagram, yourself, and now let's see what Dakotot has to say. Can you use the Dakotot with a baby on their tummy? The Dakotot Deluxe Plus is meant for babies zero to six months. It should only be used while babies are on their back, as the best evidence suggests babies should be placed on their backs until one year of age. However, once a baby is capable of rolling over from back to stomach and from stomach to back, the infant can be allowed to remain in the sleep position he or she assumes. Can I use my Dakotot in a crib, bassinet, or play yard? No, Dakotot should not be used in a crib, bassinet, or play yard. The Consumer Product Safety Commission has cautioned that babies should be placed in a bare crib without any additional bedding, pillows, or blankets. Furthermore, there is a concern that a young infant who can scoot or crawl out of the Dakotot might be entrapped between the side of the crib, bassinet, or play yard, and the dock. There have been incidents involving other products where babies had suffocated after becoming entrapped between a soft product and the crib, bassinet, or play yard. There have also been incidences where babies have suffocated on soft bedding like blankets or soft toys. This is why we warn against using a Dakotot in a contained area like a crib, bassinet, or play yard, and we also warn that blankets and pillows should not be placed in the Dakotot. When it comes to an infant's resting environment, there is best. Well, y'all, I cannot agree with that enough. Bear is best. But you know the problem with this? The problem is, and this is my own personal opinion, and also with this, the problem is you go on Instagram, you go on Facebook, you see people using their Dakotot where? In the crib. You see their Dakotot being styled with swaddle blankets, even flowers, stuffed animals. Y'all, these are product placements, and obviously these are influencers that Dakotot is sending their product to, and then they are specifically taking pictures against what Dakotot has suggested. So my biggest problem with the Dakotot is that it is a completely false advertising. That is my biggest one, is that they are advocating and they're appearing and they're reposting pictures on their Instagram of you using the Dakotot with blankets or with soft objects around them. And then of course, I know because I've been in your home, some of you, you're using the Dakota in the crib, and most people just don't know that you're not supposed to use it in the crib. It's only supposed to be used, as Dakota suggests at the very beginning of their safety guidelines, that this is intended for babies zero to eight months to be used for lounging, supervised napping, tummy time, co-sleeping, changing diapers, cuddling, and playing. Not once do they want you to use the Dakota for sleeping in their own crib. So in fact, the only way they want your baby to be sleeping in the Dakota is if you are watching them, supervised napping, or if you are co-sleeping together. Co-sleeping, I am also not an advocate for, specifically before the safety concerns. 
They tell you on their website that the American Academy of Pediatrics has determined the safest place for baby is in their crib. That's what I want. That's what I want for your baby. Let's remember, bear is best. So not only is the Docotot being poorly advertised, that you could use it in these ways that influencers are posting about, that's just not true. Docotot is telling you the only way to use this for sleep is if you're supervising them while they're napping, whether that's maybe on the floor or in your bed with no covers, no pillows, no nothing, or on your bed, or if it's because you are co-sleeping with them. The majority of the families that I am working with, and honestly, let's be real here, the people who are attracted to my podcast are not people who are co-sleeping with baby between them. They're typically not. So if you are using the Docotot for co-sleeping, then yeah, sure. I think that that probably is your better option if you are going to co-sleep as in bed share with your child. I'm not talking about the co-sleeper bassinets. I'm talking about literal bed sharing. If you want to bed share with your baby and you're going to use the Docotot, well, then they have a whole other set of guidelines, which you can read into. They don't want you to have any blankets, any pillows around them, and they want to make sure that that Docotot is placed very specifically. So The biggest problem with the Docotot, I believe, is their false marketing. I really, truly get upset when I see them repost photos of blankets and stuffed animals with the Docotot when they're telling you not to do that. We also see the Docotot being used in the crib. Again, not supposed to do that. But the other biggest problem, this is a personal problem. This thing is so darn expensive. You guys, there is no reason we need to be buying these Docotots for hundreds of dollars. Because guess what? You can only use the first one, the deluxe one, for eight months, and it's $200, and I'm very sorry, but this is not going to solve your child's sleep. I also want to dig into the fact that your child is going to be rolling around by like four or five months old, and we don't want to hinder your baby's rolling. So I hope that gives you some clarification. Now, don't go running, screaming to your baby's nursery and rip the Docotot out of the crib underneath of them. Just make a plan for it. The next nap, the next bedtime, simply remove it from your entire sleep life. Nobody needs this product. In fact, I'm not really about the products. In my four steps to solve your child's night wakings, which I think is a great place for you to begin, I eliminate unnecessary sleep props. So you're already one step ahead. So if you wanna grab this free download, you can check that out. I actually give you four days of free coaching within this to help get you on the right track of sleep. So check out that download, click the link below. Guys, overall, I'm here to help you make sleep a thing for your family. I don't think we need any gimmicks or products or any of those things. You can just have sweet sleep. Sweet dreams, see you next time.